Imagine two civilizations meeting with the capacity, each with the capacity to interact and to view beyond a single moment in time the point where it's as if they can have multiple experiences, each interacting on a kind of closed time-like curve of interactions within interactions of other people interacting throughout the same closed time-like curve and having interactions linked with or kind of correlating to different points together as if ultimately it's kind of like two databases combined one person and the other and each is a universe just like a website a server and in combining they basically they're just viewing each other's website and the amount of information involved and the rate at which information is received for the most part requires or at least renders that results in a a kind of pattern where the rendering takes shape as something that has to be described or cross-referenced in a linear function that it's almost like it's a vector and there's a start and a finish and each time they interact they go closer towards a complete unification of understanding which is basically as if it's almost like two vectors or triangles tip to tip or should I say um vortice to vortice and as there is informational correlation in other words they're seeing what's similar about one another or the databases are cross-referencing information until a kind of understanding of similarity and differences is held in a kind of personal maybe a percentage of overlap is understood kind of by the creation of a virtual third self which is kind of like a venn diagram where this third connection represents almost like something that's living on its own and it is a relationship it is a connection between two sources and the relationship itself is dependent on either end but as well it is something that is added to or detracted from and in a way exists on its own, of its own accord, as energy or essence or, or a signature or header and footer signatures within our own mind and, and emotions that will always be attributed to specific people and associated with the energy and emotions that we feel and therefore this kind of like, uh, you know, multiplayer karma system that's used to, to reference kind of like proprioception to show to show where we are in this larger system that is society and community and intelligence and 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 so on because kind of without one another we're more or less just floating in space and there's really no reference point to describe who's who or you know there is no who who's who until there's the community and that starts with information exchange which starts with feeling because that's already happening through your unconscious and your subconscious mind which takes in the information that you can't conceive of it's just outside your per your periphery uh, sensual uh, sensory perception limits and then the unconscious processes that information it fits it into these woven organic jigsaw puzzle piece molds in your cerebrum that then correlate or maybe it's cerebellum that correlate then to different aspects of life that we've seen that we can imagine and works to create a more or less working scale model of existence as far as we know it in terms of the reality of one another and the things that we cannot see and verify with our senses directly aspects of the unknown what we could call the unknown and is often exaggerated to be something like monsters or another dimension but it's quite literally how does this person feel about me when i'm trying to present myself in this way um and so on to the to a, a scaled up level where it's like an environment with its own challenges or obstacles and they represent problems or, or, or discrepancies or uh, blind spots and gaps between these reflecting or maybe not reflecting but these sources and re receiving though those receiving which are also sources um, of each other's information and how information gets lost in translation and there's an entire world that we don't know because it's always lost in translation until it's specifically 
decoded and brought back into reference. 